Peace, infinite waters diving deep. Smell that good piranha, baby. We're out here in nature. <laughs> I love his videos. Hey guys, it's Jacob from My Biohack, and today I want to talk to you about 10 different ways we can simulate BDNF, or also called brain derived neurotrophic factor. So what is brain-derived neurotrophic factor to begin with? BDNF is a molecule that tells neurons to grow more dendrites and to make more synaptic connections. So essentially, this molecule goes into a neuron, turns on TRKB, and tells this neuron, the axon, to get larger, and we have uh, more neural connections in the brain. There's a few things that BDNF can help with, such as aging, anxiety, depression, autism. These are all conditions where BDNF levels in serum blood have shown to be lower. Activity in the brain have shown to be lower in certain areas of the brain. So BDNF can help with those conditions. Since your brain doesn't technically grow new cells except for in the hippocampus, and maybe some other the brain areas of the brain, but we're still that's still highly debated. Uh, the brain still needs to make new connections. It's neuroplastic, meaning that it can change throughout your whole life from being a baby to before you die. Brains for children are way more neuroplastic than they are when you hit 24, 25, and especially older, but uh, you can still change it. You can still entrain the brain to become more plastic with BDNF. And I'll have other videos about nerve growth factor and GDNF, glial derived neurotrophic factor, and uh, a few other ones like MANF. So with BDNF, we can stimulate it in a few different ways. So let's go over 10 different ways. The first way, and my favorite way, is exercise. So strength training, so resistance training, lifting weights, getting really heavy weights and pushing them to your max really stimulates this. It also helps with blood flow and a few other things like bone density. Uh, high intensity interval training, which is really good for heart rate variability, uh, stimulates BDNF. And they do it in different areas of the brain as well. Um, BDNF with resistance training uh, increases uh, BDNF in the hippocampus, whereas resistance training, I mean, uh, high intensity interval training increases it in the hypothalamus. So that's why you like sweat a whole bunch when you're doing resistance training. Not just the heart rate variability going up and down, but it is working directly on the hypothalamus, which helps you recover from some autonomic dysfunctions. You can do yoga, that's number two. That is a type of movement with like breathing and everything really gets your BDNF stimulated. A number three is three lifestyle is meditation. Now, mindfulness meditation has shown to increase BDNF and synaptic connections in the prefrontal cortex. So people who meditate more often have more resilience in their brain. They're able to understand things better. Um, they've got better connections between the two hemispheres of their brain as well. Um, they become more right-brained and have a better better creativity. Number four is learning new things and having new experiences. So if you learn something, if you create a new memory for something, your brain needs to create those neuronal pathways. So BDNF is really important for doing that. And if you do it in healthy ways, uh, such as learning something that helps you bring you towards your goal or having a great experience with a friend or a loved one, is very healthy for you versus having a traumatic event, uh, dying of a loved one, et cetera, et cetera, um, getting in fights with people. We don't, we want to stay away from that because we don't want to stimulate BDNF for negative things. We want to stimulate it for positive things that will help you get towards your goal. Number five is actually two different ways to increase BDNF. One is caloric restriction and the other is fasting. Now caloric restriction reduces the amount of calories while fasting reduces the calories in general and you're stimulating uh, burning of fat which stimulates uh, the production of ketones. So going into ketosis as well, uh, being on a ketogenic diet can also stimulate BDNF and BDNF directly can go uh, be created 
through ketones getting into the brain. Number six is getting cold. So if you can get chilly, uh, there's two ways to do this. You can get mildly cold, which can stimulate your brain and create BDNF. But another way that you can do this is get really cold like ice plunges or an ice bath. And this stimulates a molecule called iricin, which can also stimulate BDNF. Iricin is actually stimulated in exercise as well. So number one would also be iricin stimulation through exercise. Uh, but number six, getting cold, ice plunges. That can also increase endorphins and just feeling good all overall. Number seven is sleep. So if you sleep, you can create new neuronal connections. So when they say study something before going to bed, you create something called long-term potentiation. And through that mechanism, you can create longer memories. They stay in your brain for longer. And so when you wake up, that's the something, the thing that you learned the previous night, you know now, and it's ingrained in your brain. Number eight is chewing. So really simple, you could chew gum, you could chew food. Uh, you don't even have to eat it. But when you're chewing gum, you're stimulating BDNF through leptin and ghrelin. You're creating uh, formations in your brain to focus and so that's why people will chew gum while they're studying for tests and exams because you're releasing BDNF and you can create these neuronal pathways to remember those memories better or the textbook that you're reading better. Number nine is getting sunlight on your body and in your brain. So there's two ways that th this can happen that you increase BDNF. One is the blue light, the stimulation from the sun works on your eyes and stimulates dopamine which causes the suprachiasmatic to work its magic but also creates BDNF it's a stimulant just like coffee is a stimulant so if you go onto the sun you can create BDNF and you can learn things better a majority of my posts that I've written on mybiohack.com have been while I was sitting in the sun because it stimulates the growth and I was able to learn what I was writing even faster Number 10 is music, and this is my favorite. Listen to good music that makes you feel good, that gives you those goosebumps. That stimulates BDNF as well. So if you're exercising, listen to feel good music, and you're out in the sun, and you can do a nice cold ice plunge after that and do a meditation, you're gonna be so primed to learn whatever it is you wanna learn that day, and you'll be happier and feel better. So. Those are 10 ways to stimulate BDNF in good ways. I want to cover just a few ways where you can stimulate BDNF, but they're bad ways. So let's go over those now. Number one for stimulating BDNF in a bad way are traumatic events. So things like PTSD, lots of neurotrophic factors are happening then. Remember 9-11 or when JFK died. I wasn't alive, but <laughs> those are some examples that BDNF was highly stimulated and you're able to remember exactly where you were when that happened. So BDNF can be stimulated that way, but those aren't the greatest ways. Another way is sleep deprivation. So mild sleep deprivation, staying up all night can stimulate BDNF. And that's why some people may do well, better, uh, may do better on tests right after staying up all night, but they may also be on stimulants to keep them awake all night. So that's not good for you in the long term. That's not healthy. Hypoxia is number three, which can also stimulate BDNF. And it's not that great to deprive your cells of oxygen unless you're doing resistance training and building up lactate and things like that. So those are three things to stay away from. I would also like to include stress reduction helps with BDNF. So chronic stress or cortisol and uh, uh, stress hormones cause reduction of the hippocampus uh, so you're not going to create long-term memories as well so if you've noticed uh, if you've been chronically stressed for a long time you're not going to be able to remember what you've done that day so meditation is great for that and so is all these other uh, ways to stimulate BDNF so I do hope this video was helpful for you. If you liked it, click the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, things like Nerve Growth Factor, ManF, uh, GDNF, I'll have videos in the future. Or you can check out their posts on mybiohack.com. But if you want to see video, more videos like this, subscribe. And stay beautiful.